enthusiastic introduction nick fpv here got another fresh build for you this is the twig xl frame it's the larger version of the original twig frame here um and this is basically my old uh, kebab fpv parts moved on to the twig because the original kebab frame was very weak so moved it on the twig and i haven't had any issues yet so uh, back to the twig xl here um, this has been a really really fun build i love this frame i got this uh stick it skins here on the bottom these are fly Nin 1404 4850 kv 3s or 4s motors i'm flying this on 4s and it's super fast i'll show a couple punch outs here so you can see how this thing feels um yeah, this frame is super robust. I've crashed it a bunch. Um, doesn't have a scratch on it. The Twig XL comes with this awesome 3D printed canopy. Uh, very sturdy, very thick. It's for any micro cam. This is the Cadex Rattel. And then under the hood here, there is the Beta FPV 20 amp all-in-one board. Um, I did a little review on those a while back. Um, and I have to say... Quality control isn't great in my experience. I've had one good and one bad. Um, this is my, the original one I got. And when I was flying with it, finally got all the pids tuned and set up. It could just, it could never fly well. Um, the motors were stuttering. Uh, I tried every tune imaginable. Then I finally got a new flight controller and this one works great. So 50, 50 is not great. These are like $70. So I can't, Say I recommend them. I know I think Diatone makes a 20 amp as well, so maybe check that one out. On top of that, I have the new the Flywoo Goku VTX625, something like that. So it's sort of like a diamond, um, like a diamond VTX, or it's like a triangle shape, and it has multiple mounting points. Uh, whoop, 20 by 20 and a 16 by 16 mount, um, which is cool. Um, the reason I got the VTX, it goes to 450 milliwatts, which is awesome. Reception has been great uh, with my little Axie micro here. But the reason I got the VTX is it has these awesome LEDs. It has four customizable LEDs on the inside, which you can program in Betaflight. But for whatever reason, um, they're not working like they're supposed to be. And I'm wondering if it's just not compatible with this board, if the board isn't putting out the right voltage. Um, let me plug in and show you here. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So maybe it will work magically. Okay, so for this test, they are actually working, which is nice. So what they're supposed to do is you have two in the back here, which is cool, and then two in the front. So these are customizable in beta flight. I got purple in the front, yellow in the back right now. But usually they don't work, so you got lucky. Um, I'm flying it on this uh, 550. 4S GNB. I'm also I also got some 650s on the way. I'm getting about three minutes with this guy, and I'm hoping for a little more flight time. So I'm gonna try the 650s out as well. Um, and these are the HQ3030 props, which are great. Uh, it also flies really well on these Gemfan 3035s. And the Twig XL is very easy to put together. It's got M3 mounts for the canopy, and then M2 for the electronics in there comes with these nice little wire holders um it also came with some tpu like bumpers for the front but that's just four extra grams that i don't need so um looks cool but i'm more about flying not looks check out the weights here you're not gonna be able to see this but let's see So we're about 115, and then let's see if I can. <clears throat> this is the 4S 550. We're at buck 81 right there. I think that's pretty much it. I'll post a screenshot of the PIDs. Yeah, here's a here's some flight footage, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.